Oh my goodness. <clears throat> thank you so much. And I love you. And thank you. <clears throat> so I um, found your message uh, six years ago um, and studied it. And my life has changed beyond my wildest dreams. I have created a multi-million dollar business. I have 100 employees that I love. And I have a beautiful family. And I'm getting to know what I want in a relationship more and more and more. And I'm really excited for that relationship to come. Um, and so everything is amazing. And then there's this little tiny thought that comes up. And it's like, yeah, well, let's activate it, especially if it's troubling. Oh, oh no. <laughs> it, it, especially if it's a hindering thought. Let, let's bring it out into the light and let's make it bigger. I know, I feel silly even just even bringing it up. Then why would you? Why would you? Well, if you want something to dissipate, don't talk about it. Okay. If you want something to dissipate, don't discuss it. Don't bring it up. Don't think about it. Okay. Is this hard? <laughs> Conceptually, it is so easy, but why is it difficult? Because the thought has momentum, because you keep thinking about it. So, Abraham, so the thought has momentum, so I can't stop thinking about it, but I've got to stop thinking about it in order to stop the momentum. Abraham, I can't stop thinking about it because it has momentum, and the reason it has momentum is because I keep thinking about it. Is there a way out of this? And we say, think about other things, or think about that in more general terms. And we would do both. In other words, we'd think about everything else. We'd think about all the things that are going well. we just think about it. If, if your point of attraction is about what's vibrationally active in you, and you've got 10 subjects that you can think about that all feel good and one that doesn't, isn't it logical that if you just think about the 10 that feel good, that in time the one that doesn't would get crowded out? That's good. That's good. Just keep making lists of positive aspects. Just get. So... So, but, so, but, so, but. <laughs> if it has momentum, I can't stop thinking about it because law of attraction keeps delivering thoughts about it to me and evidence of it to me. So how do I soften it? And we say by stepping back into a less wobbly place about it, which means less specific, more general. So tell us, the most general version of it that you can, which means the emotional version of it. The most general version is, is that the bad thought? Yes. Okay. But it's and it is the emotional okay. version. So so in in an emotional word or two, tell us about this subject from an emotional version. With emotional So sometimes I wait, get wait, too many words already. Oh. Okay. <laughs> And emotion, emotional, we, we just want you to break it down into one or maybe two emotional words that tell us about whatever this subject is. I get scared. Fear. 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 All right. So yeah. that's really good. So fear. Fear is the, is the indicator of the vibration that I've got going on. So, so are you afraid of everything? No. Are you afraid of most things? Some. Not is, most, is there very much really to be afraid of? Not too much. Is, 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 do you stand in pretty much a stable place? Yes. Is, is there anything about this world? Are there, do you have any other emotions other than fear? Yes. Do, do you have emotions such as love? Yes. Are there, are, is there anyone that you love? Yes. Do you have emotions such as enthusiasm? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, you were telling us about that earlier. And so and so so you're saying to us that 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 you feel uh, you feel a lot of emotions. Would you say that more of the emotions that you feel feel good to you? Yes. So so you have nothing to fear ever. <laughs> you have nothing to fear That's ever. True. If 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 all of that is true and it is, then you've got a, a you've got a good vibrational balance going. We want to say to you that anyone and everyone could be reduced to fear because someone could get you fixated on something and cause you to focus long enough that you would lose your, lose your alignment. But it doesn't mean because that's valid. It only means that you have temporarily focused yourself out of alignment with the energy that gives you the other emotions that feel better. Doesn't that make perfect sense to you? 
In other words, oh, blessed fear. I love this feeling of fear because this feeling in my belly is my indication of whether I'm a master of the energy right now. Often I'm a master of the energy because I feel elation. I feel clarity. I feel, I feel vitality. I feel enthusiasm. And sometimes not such a master of the energy like now, but I am often a master of the energy. That's all it is. All that fear is is an indication of what you're doing with the energy. It doesn't have any attachment to anything else. So when you reduce, now so think about this. You're really going to like this. We've never said it before. It's the most brilliant thing that you've ever heard about <laughs> this. It's going to bring so many things into clarity for so many of you. So, so do you get it that in the early stages of something, there is less momentum? And is it logical to you, knowing what you know about Law of Attraction, that the more momentum there is, then the greater detail and the, and the greater manifestation power? The more specific than, than the... In other words, would you say that the physical flesh, blood, and bone, physical knock-on-wood world that you live in, that it is the detailed, more faster-moving energy... In other words, it's out here on the leading edge. It's manifested. It's, it's the momentum. Would you say that there's an emotion and that the emotion is the early stage of the manifestation and that the more that that emotion exists and the bigger the manifestation gets, that then there's a bigger manifestation that more can see? You following what we're getting at? So does it yeah. follow? That was took a little while for Esther to spit that out, but you got it, didn't you? In other words, there's more speed and there's more manifestation once something's been going for a while. And the emotion is back here at the basis of it. So can you see, let's say that you've got some great, big, wonderful thing, and back at the beginning of it is an emotion that feels really good. Let's say you've got some great, big, not very good feeling thing, and that the at the very beginning of it is emotion that doesn't feel very good. What we're saying to you is, if you can take that bad feeling emotion back to the basis, which means talk about the emotion, not about the manifestations, not about the details, focus on the emotion, you can shift the emotion from one of fear to one of feeling good really, really easily, and then the manifestations must adjust themselves. And if you don't, if you don't do that, if you don't do that, if you're doing what our friend was doing a little bit earlier, if you're, if you're trying to weigh the pros and the cons and you're dancing all around it and you're trying to explain things and you're trying to figure out how you got here and trying to blame others for being here or blame yourself for being here, then you just keep yourself out there where, where you have no power. You've got to get back to that vibrational center. Doesn't that make perfect sense to you? Yes. So rather than trying to solve your fears by taking the manifestation in its fullest blown sense in the way it is appearing in your life experience and sorting it out out there in the details instead don't give your attention to those details give your attention to the way you feel and then remind yourself that you have control over the way you feel and watch how every demon, every, everything that you do not want must cease to exist in your experience because you have taken its power away at its root. Mm. Thank you. Thank you so much. Every conversation seems more important than the one before, doesn't it? Can you feel? Can you feel what's happening? Can you feel how clear you are and what you are coming to know? Can you feel your own empowerment? Yes. <laughs> um, there's a Lao Tzu quote that goes, never, nature never rushes, yet it accomplishes everything. If I have an inspired desire that I wish to attract into my life, should every single step towards the realization of that vision be effortless, and yes. with ease, or will there be times of effort like growing pains? Well, when you're really in the flow, it feels effortless because, because you've done the efforting as you sifted through the contrast. In other words, the effort factor really is in the sifting through the contrast and deciding what you don't want and deciding what you do want. But once you've launched that rocket and source is flowing to it, then it's the effortlessness that means you're on the path and it's the feeling of effort that means you're slowing it down. Whew. How important to know that.
So if I feel any kind of struggle, just stop and be still until that that positive momentum builds, and then yeah. and then carry it like a flow. Because think about it, it's a wonderful question, and it's a perfect place here. So you've launched. Let's say you've launched a rocket of desire. You're on the path of it, and the momentum is beginning, and you can feel it. And there's no resistance, and so you can feel it stronger and stronger and stronger. In the moment that you and and you could carry that all the way to fruition, and it would just feel glorious and easy all the way. But let's say somewhere along the line you get too heady about it. You're 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 it doesn't matter how it gets there, but you've introduced some resistance to it. Too much it. thinking. Too much thinking usually. Right. So you've too so much thinking that you tiptoed into resistant thought. Right. There is never too much thinking when you're when you're allowing when you're guided. Well said. There's but when it's inspired. But when, right. So so you're moving along. The the momentum is stronger, and then you introduce some contradictory thought to it, and it is in that moment that you feel like you need to try harder. And and that feeling is because, and a lot of people have grown accustomed to this. You try to compensate for the for the lack of alignment with effort, with words, with action. Right. So that's why that's why people think that it should be harder. That's why it is a little bit tricky to convince you that you're supposed to feel good and that it's supposed to be easy, because you've been convinced by others that if if it's easy, you're lazy. And if you and path of least resistance is something that you were never encouraged to, you lazy person. Path of least resistance? No, don't get on the path of least resistance. They say you need to get on the path of diligence. Nobody ever gets good at something unless they try hard. There, nobody ever gets a monument built for just laying around and being easy. Right. So it should be as natural as the urge to eat or or drink or even something not thought of like an automatic process like digestion. It's just happening. It's perfect. Perfect. It's it's and, of the universe and, and source. Th that's perfect and brilliant. And haven't you had those experiences where, relative to something that you're you're creating, that you get in that feeling of flow where it right. just feels it just feels like the entire universe is converging on your behalf. There's no recollection of the, even the thought process in itself. It just it happened and time disappeared and it just. And that's where, that's, that's when you know. That's what you're it's, reaching it's, for. It's happened and yeah. happening, and yeah. yeah, that's it. Your words are perfect. We can't find any improvement. Thank you. Yeah. We've enjoyed this interaction more than, more than you have, <laughs> because we're already down the road into the clarity that you are in the process of discovering. It's exhilarating to us to play with you in this way. You are a unique and magnificent collection of consciousness. Oh. Never been a day like this. Never been moving forward like this. Never been alignment like this. Those of you here in the room and all around the world, you are on the leading edge of creation. Most important, you have discovered today what alignment feels like unconditionally. That is the key, isn't it? Don't let the conditions that have been created by past momentum be the perpetuating factor in the momentum that's coming. You get to make new decisions in every day. You get to decide who you are now. You get to control the course of your experience, but before you can control the course of your experience, you have, you have to gain mastery over the vibration between your desires and your beliefs. And today, over and over and over again, you've found the peace in that, haven't you? So chill out, be easier, <laughs> get more general, soothe yourself more and others. And if you've got somebody in your life that's hard to soothe, leave them alone. Mm -hmm. Do not sacrifice your well-being by trying to soothe the unsoothable. Because eventually, if you don't try to soothe the unsoothable, if you soothe yourself, eventually you'll be so soothed, no one will be unsoothable for you. <laughs> no one will cause wobble in your vibration when your vibration is really secure. But until it is, don't let their wobble make you wobble.